Hey everybody and welcome back to the next Flappy Ears tutorial video. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that our pipes will come across the screen. Um, so to do that we're going to need to make another script and it's going to be called uh, world. So go ahead and make that and then double click to open it up. So the point of this script is going to be to uh, create a pipe in at the edge of the map or at the edge of the screen so we're going to need a public game object pipe prefab so that we can make multiple prefabs um, so let's go ahead and apply whatever changes we may have left on that delete it and then create a new empty game object and call it our world and then center that to zero attach the world script to it and then in your prefabs take the rainbow and drag it to where the pipe is so the way we're going to generate a pipe is that after a certain distance that the player has traveled we're going to create a pipe. So we'll need a way of tracking how far the player has gone. So let's go ahead and make a public float uh, travel distance. We'll set that to zero. And then we're just going to add to our travel distance. It's going to equal or plus equals the speed that our game is currently moving at which is based on what we're, what our parallax speed is pretty much so if you look at our floor we are currently moving 0.1 so let's see how that works 0.1 times time dot Delta time. Let's go ahead and make this a variable. Travel speed. Okay. Now in our world, we want a reference to our player. And then we want another uh, float called pipe space, which is the spacing between the pipe. We just set that to five for now. So if our player dot travel distance is greater than or equal to our pipe space, then we're going to go ahead and create a new pipe and we want to create the pipe at the edge of our screen um, so to do that there's a couple of methods uh, we're going to use camera to world space to figure out where that is and that's going to be camera dot main screen to world point and this takes in a vector 3 position uh, the only thing we really care about is our X and then we also want to set our this stuff to zero so that it doesn't actually move anything here. And then we want to instantiate or instantiate our pipe with our end position 
and a quaternion of zero or identity as a game object. And then we also want to reset our player dot travel distance to zero. All right, so let's save this and see how this looks. Oh, one more thing. We're going to public float um, edge of screen. We'll say that is negative 5. We're going to have to play around with this var variable to get it correct. Okay. So let's see. I believe everything's saved. I did not call it that. Okay. Let's click play and see what happens. Oh. Yeah, we need to drag our player into there. So it's not generating any pipes. Let's do this to zero and let's move our travel speed up to 0.5. And there's a pipe. Move that to one. Let's go to our world. Still that back to negative five. And it should generate another pipe. So negative 5 is there we want to get this to be 4 looks about right so it's not setting it to our position And let's see why. So to fix this, uh, we just need to move from the screen width plus our edge of screen. Okay, and if you do that, we should get something like this. So, there's a couple of bugs so far, but the rainbow does spawn where we want it to. And we also get points when we go through it, and more will spawn. Um, one, one last thing we want to do right now is, because everything is spawning on the same plane, our click shield is not... Uh, operating as intend as intended, so we're gonna we're gonna move this further uh, towards us, so that it will receive our mouse events before any other collider can interfere with it. And so now, if you click and click on where the old colliders used to be. Um, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.
Thank <laughs> you.